What's going on, everybody? It's Ryan Fontenot here again with the One Million Cent Podcast, where together we are aiming to see one million teens around the globe trained to share the gospel in everyday life. This episode is near and dear to my heart. I believe this episode holds one of the most powerful keys to becoming more effective and more consistent in sharing the gospel in your everyday life. I have people ask me a lot of times like, Ryan, what are the keys to becoming a better evangelist? What are, what are the important things that I need to be doing in order to become more competent and consistent in sharing my faith? Ryan, what are they? And oftentimes people are looking for like some magic silver bullet. They're looking for that one knockout punch. But the truth is what I'm going to talk to you about today is the key. If this is missing in my life, if this is missing in your life, we may actually be even busy telling others about Jesus, but I don't believe we will be nearly as effective. And what I want to talk to you about today is one of the most practical, one of the most simple, but I believe one of the most neglected aspects of evangelism. Are you ready for it? And that is prayer. Yes, Prayer. I believe one of the greatest keys to becoming an effective evangelist, to being consistent in sharing your faith, to living a life that is daily engaged in Jesus conversations is to have a effective, growing, consistent life of prayer. And that's why in my book, Live Sent, chapter three is all about prayer. As a matter of fact, what I want to do today is I want to share with you three of the seven, what I call live sent prayers, prayers that will soften your heart and keep your heart on fire to tell others about Jesus. Why? Because we believe prayer is the power. We say that a lot around our ministry. Prayer is the the power. As a matter of fact, we have something called our prayer tribe. It's a text message tribe with over a thousand people on there that we text out when we head out to events, when I'm doing trainings, when I'm preaching at camps, and when we just need specific things prayed for. We send this out to people. We invest in it every single month. And we believe this is so important. Why? Because we believe in the power of prayer because we believe in the power of the one we are praying to. So let's jump right in. How can you and I become people of prayer? And what should we pray if we're going to ask God to give us a continual heart and fire and passion for evangelism? Here is my very first prayer I write about in my book, Live Sent. Here it is. You need to pray, number one, for a heart for God. Yes, a heart for God. What did Jesus say? The first and greatest commandment is this. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. Here's the truth. If you don't love Jesus, you're not going to talk about Jesus. You and I, we talk about the things that we love, that we enjoy, the people that we spend time with. And if you don't develop a love daily walk with Jesus, then you're not going to be consistent in talking to others about Jesus. But if you will pray and you will ask God to help you grow in your love of him, to help you grow in your understanding of him, to help you grow in your passion for him. What will happen is as you grow in your walk with Jesus, you will start telling others more about Jesus. So I'd say prayer number one of the seven that I have in the book is to pray for a love for God. But secondly, we need to pray for a love for people. Do you remember what Jesus said? The first and greatest commandment, love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. Secondly, is to love your neighbor as yourself. So I believe the second prayer that you and I need to be praying, the second live sent prayer, is we need to be praying for a heart for other people. Here's the truth. If we don't love people, we're not going to tell people about who we love. But when we love people, 
and we love God, we can't help but tell people about the God we love. And so we need to ask the Lord to give us a love for our friends, for our family, for our co-workers, for our classmates, for our teammates, for the stranger on the street, for the neighbors beside us. God, give us a genuine love for them because when we have a love for them, we will tell them about the one we love. So, so, so prayer number one, I always say is, Hey, God, give me a love for you. Help me grow in that every day. Prayer number two, help me to love other people. Lord, help me to see people as you see them. Give me a heart for people that you have for people. But here's a third one. And this is the third one I want to share with you today. Again, there are seven in my book. You can go to I live sent dot com and order your copy of the book today or as many people are doing you can order for your small group and y'all can go through this study together we have a free study guide with it you got to check that out but the third of the seven go tell prayers is this we need to pray for open doors here it is i believe that sharing the gospel is a supernatural thing it's something that you can't accomplish on your own I can't accomplish on my own. And so we need to pray, God, I love you. Lord, I love people. So God, give me an opportunity today to tell someone about Jesus. I'm always amazed that when I actually ask God, give me an opportunity to share you with others, that God gives me that opportunity. Just the other day, I was on my way home from an event and I had one, this, not, not this wristband on, but a wristband like this on. And if you know me, this is the wristband we use to share the gospel. It's got four simple emojis on it. The heart, the division symbol, the cross, and the question mark. Go to one million cent.com free resources on how you can use this free training. Go check it out. Besides the fact I'm literally checking out at the seven 11 and the lady sees the wristband on me. <clears throat> I'm oblivious. I'm not even saying anything about Jesus. I don't even know that I was thinking about telling her about Jesus. And she looks at me and she says, okay, I'm curious. What's that about? I said, this? <clears throat> she said, yeah, what's that about? I said, very simply, God loves you. Sin separates you. Jesus came to save you. Will you trust him as your king? I took the wristband off and I handed it to her. And I said, look, on the back, there's a website, jesussaved.me. Put this on. Later on, check it out. You can hear the full story expounded on a little bit more. And that was it. What happened? God opened a door that I couldn't open. I wasn't even trying to open, but God did. If you want to start being more consistent in sharing your faith with other people, ask God to open doors. Those are three of the seven go tell or live sent prayers that I have in our book. Go grab the book, get your copy. They're all in here. And here's what I do on my calendar. I put one of those prayers each day. I hit it on repeat and every day on my calendar, here's the prayer for me to pray. God, give me a heart for you next day. God, give me a heart for other people next day. God, give me an opportunity to tell someone about you today, open up doors and so on and so forth. We know that prayer is the power. The Lord said, ask, and I will give the nations to you. The Lord said, ask and seek and knock. The, the Lord said this. He said, when you pray, I will show you great and mighty things that you don't even know yet. So I'm telling you today, prayer is the power. And Paul writes these words that God is able to do far more abundantly than anything we could ask or even imagine. So today, start asking God, to give you a heart to tell the world about him. Go check out all our resources at 1millioncent.com. And don't forget today is a great day to go tell someone about Jesus. 